Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this uh, scalene triangle uh, ABC, as you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, its uh, side length uh, AB is uh, 16 units, the side length uh, AC is uh, 10 units, and the angle uh, in between them is uh, 60 degrees. And moreover, this uh, side uh, BC is being uh, represented by x and now our task is uh, to calculate the value of uh, x in other words we are going to calculate uh, this uh, side uh, bc length please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100 percent true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and in this video, I am going to share with you with two different approaches. So therefore, please watch the video till the very end. And here is our very first method. And we are going to focus on this uh, triangle ABC. And now let's recall the law of cosines as you can see in this uh, given uh, triangle. And here in this uh, triangle ABC, we got three sides and uh, three angles with their uh, respective uh, law of cosines. If I label uh, this angle uh, as uh, alpha, then this uh, opposite side length is going to be lowercase uh, a. The side opposite to this uh, vertex b is going to be lowercase b. And the side opposite to this uh, vertex c is going to be lowercase c. So therefore, we are going to use the very first uh, law of cosine. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So we got uh, x square is going to be equal to 10 square plus uh, 16 square minus 2 times uh, 10 times uh, 16 times uh, cosine of uh, 60 degrees. And now we know that cosine of 60 degrees is uh, 1 divided by 2. So therefore, I'm going to replace that one with 1 divided by 2 over here. And let's simplify. We can write uh, x square equals to 100 plus 16 square is uh, 256 minus uh, 2 times uh, 10 times uh, 16 is uh, 160. And then... Uh, cosine of 60 degrees is 1 divided by 2. So I'm going to multiply with uh, 1 divided by 2 over here. And now we know that 1 divided by 2 and 2 cancel each other out. And uh, 100 plus 256 is going to give us uh, 356. So therefore we are going to have x square equal to 356 uh, minus 160. And uh, that is going to give us x square equals to 196. And now we are going to undo this square by taking the square root on both uh, sides. So therefore, uh, our x value is going to be 14 units. So thus our x value turns out to be 14 units by using the law of cosines. And now I'm going to share with you with the second method. And here's our very first step. I have dropped uh, this perpendicular uh, CD on this uh, side uh, AB, as you can see. And as a result, we are ended up with these two right triangles, this first uh, right triangle ADC, and the other right triangle uh, BDC. And now we are going to focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ADC. We know this angle is 60 degrees, this angle is 90 degrees, uh, therefore uh, this angle has got to be 30 degrees. Since the sum of three interior angles in a triangle uh, is always equal to 180 degrees. And now we can see that this triangle ADC is our uh, 30, 60, 90 special triangle. And now I'm going to go over the basic review. And let's focus on this uh, 30, 60, 90 special triangle uh, ADC. And we can see 30 degrees is our smallest angle, whereas uh, 90 degrees uh, is our largest angle. So therefore, the side opposite to this smallest angle is going to be 
our smallest length and the side opposite to our largest angle is going to be our longest leg which is called the hypotenuse so therefore in such kind of uh, special uh, 30 60 90 triangle the longest leg is twice the smallest leg in other words if the smallest leg is one then the longest leg is going to be two and this third leg has got to be square root of three and in general if i label the smallest leg as uh, lowercase a then the longest leg has got to be two times uh, a and this uh, third leg uh, is going to be a times uh, square root of uh, three so therefore we can see in this triangle uh, adc the longest leg uh, is uh, 10 units therefore uh, this uh, smallest leg has got to be half of that one is going to be five units and this uh, third leg has got to be five times uh, square root of three and now we are going to focus on this uh, other right triangle uh, bdc we know this whole uh, a b length uh, is uh, 16 and this uh, segment uh, a d length uh, is 5 so therefore uh, this uh, b d segment length is going to be 16 minus 5 is going to give us uh, 11 units and now we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle BDC and here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square and in our case the hypotenuse is uh, x whereas our two other legs are uh, 11 and 5 times square root of 3 let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula so we got uh, 11 square plus uh, 5 times uh, square root of 3 whole square equals to x square so let's simplify that is going to give us uh, 121 plus uh, the square of 5 times square root of 3 is going to be 75 equal to x square therefore x square is going to be equal to 196 and now i'm going to undo this square by taking the square root on both uh, sides and here we can see this square and square root is gone so therefore uh, our x value turns out to be 14 uh, units so thus our x value turns out to be 14 uh, units uh, by using the second method as well and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye